Okay, are we up? There we go. Thursday morning. Good morning, good morning. Here we go. Power check. Mic check. Looks good. Up and running. Wi Fi check. Yes. Okay, here we go. Nobody here. Just me. All right, what job first? Put that away for a minute. There's three, four jobs on the table here this morning. They mix of stuff. I've got some more embossing to do, but let's put that aside for a minute. I have the final blocks to get ready for the first print in next year's series. I guess I should do that first. Um, yeah, let's do that first. I got a letter. We'll open in a few minutes. And what we've got here is one of the final color blocks or the first print in next year's series. You've seen this now. I think Cameron posted it on Instagram the other day. There's been a bit of speculation about what's going on. And my job this morning is to color in the areas that need to be carved and then paste it on a piece of wood and send it off to Kawasaki and I'll carve it. But before I can do that, I have to, I have to figure out what areas we need. And to do that, I gotta get back to Jed's original Photoshop file, which I didn't prepare for the stream here. So give me a few minutes here, let's sort this out. Compress, flatten image, discard hidden layers. Save, uh, just a second or so, I should have prepared this before we started. Put this on the desktop. Okay, let me find it here, just a second, add it to this window, just a minute, wait a minute. Image. So about the delay here, I could have got this all done before I started. Uh, this. Okay, this is gonna come in probably at super large size, I'll have to reduce it, hang on a sec, let's see what happens, yeah. What this is, I'll just to put it down here for a minute. We don't need the sidewalk just for a second. This is one of the color separations in, in the print. So we've got here, this is a printout from the key block. This is an important point. People were talking about this on Cameron's Instagram yesterday. She had sent me a Photoshop file with these lines in it. You can see some of them on the left hand side. And we have to explain this. If we just took Jed's Photoshop file, sent the key lines to a block to carve, sent the color patches to a block to carve, things wouldn't line up. What we have to do first is send the key lines to a block, carve it, and then we have to physically, and I did this two days ago, I put ink on here, physically printed this. So now we have a perfect exact replica of the key lines. And it is within this space now that we put the coloring that matches what Jed outlined for us on the left-hand side. Now, some of the things, for example, with two people at the bottom right corner here, you can see what's gonna happen. They're gonna be white and left out. So when I color this now in a few minutes, I will be coloring around the people. And the reason I can't just take Jed's purple data from Photoshop and put it out is because we can't see the edge where it is. Jed used a click for color fill. Some of it was painted by his brush. We don't know. So I have to take that purple data from his image over there and I have to replicate it by hand here. And some of it, the area right there around those people, that's easy because it's delineated by lines. 
and some of it is not. Look here, there's the uh, doorway. Down on the ground in front of the doorway, there's an open space here. Jed has painted this up, and I am going to have to take my pen and figure out where those lines go. Up here on the top, he's done the same thing. The white areas that you see up on the top there do not match any key lines here, so I'm going to have to take my pen and draw these. This is going to take a while here this morning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch around. I'll just spend some time on this, see how far we get. Then I've got some embossing to do uh, and more other things to do. Has Dave announced the theme for next year? Not really, but you can guess what's going on here. We are going to continue the same size and shape and format. They are going to be landscape type prints. Last year was a journey around Japan in a loose sense. Two or three of the places we visited, or more, maybe half of them, I don't know, were actually real locations in Japan, but we didn't do a famous places in Japan. You saw them, they were just generic, a field, a tea field, a sea coast, whatever. This next year, there's gonna be two differences to that. As I said, we're gonna get the same size, shape, format, rough, shinhaga concept. But there's two differences. One, not all the prints are going to be from inside Japan. Most of them are, this first one is, but not all of them are going to be inside Japan. Uh, the second one, for example, already proposed, it's already getting prepped. It will be in, uh, I think it's Croatia, I'm not sure, I don't know. But there is a Japanese hook to all this. There's a Japanese hook to all this, which we will talk about when we make this series announcement sometime at the end of this month or maybe in early December. So yeah, a continuation of Shin Hunter type prints with a theme. And you might be able to guess the theme I'm looking at this first one now. Paper is out, yes. Paper is out, paper is out. The trees have no key lines, so what I'm going to do, this is an interesting point, and I'll, as I said, that little shadow in front of the door, I can draw that with no problem. It might not replicate exactly what Jed drew, but it will be a shadow of a light splash outside the door. The tree, there's no way I'm going to draw this. I could draw something that looks like a tree, but Jed's the artist here. So what I've done is, i printed out from Jed's Photoshop, among other things, the tree. So what I will do is, that will be pasted on top of this thing. So I'm going to draw the parts I can draw, outline the parts I can outline, and then stick on Jed's Photoshop data, which I've printed out at the same scale. Anyway, enough talk, but I'm going to need this thing back and forth. How are we going to do this? Where's the camera? Also, show and tell, you know, we got some fabulous stuff from auction yesterday, but I don't know if we've got time. I'll tell you what, I need to make this a bit bigger, and you don't need to see my face. So for the next little while here, let me do this. Let me pop this up. Larger size. Well, the show and tell, I know uh, we got a uh, hundred prints yesterday. I know a uh, hundred prints. We got, I can chat about it, I guess. You know, sometimes we buy sets of prints. And sometimes they go in the shop as a set, no problem. And sometimes we can't put them in the shop as a set. What do I do here? This thing. This is not going to be trivial, you know. This is not going to be trivial.
Let's just try this first zone here to see how it's going to go. This is not going to be a trivial exercise. Yeah, the print is a Diokan type place. It's again Diokan slash bath, bath place. It's a pretty well known place. I was up there on an NHK TV program a couple of years ago. We went to this very place that's in this picture. That's the idea, but this is going to take me a while here, you know. No, the you know, program was the one when I went to Tendo to do the shogi thing. Remember there was the living shogi game, uh, Japanese chess. And the original idea had been to have me participate in the living chess game, but the NHK didn't win the lottery for it. Uh, many, many people want to do that. And NHK just thought they'd be able to walk in and throw me in there without going in the lottery. But the people who organized it said, sorry, get in line. And we didn't win the lottery, so uh, I didn't participate in the chess game. But we did. We did a bunch of other stuff in that town. And we also went from Tendo, which was the town where the chess game was. We went to Ginzan. Ginzan Onsen, which is where this place is. They were fun, eh, doing those NHK shows. They were fun. It's all history now. They won't be calling me again. I'm retired from that. They retired me from that. But they were fun. Back and forth, back and forth. The carving here is going to be no problem. And the, the problem here is getting this drawn out. Once it goes to the carver's bench, Kawasaki, once it goes to her bench, it's nothing. She just simply, she doesn't make any decisions anymore. She just 
chops away on the lines. She will leave the parts that are colored here and she will carve away everything else. And this block is going to be not too difficult for her because the most of this here, this will all be included. All the background stuff will be included. So all she'll be doing is she'll be just simply scooping out what you see as those white areas. So for the carver, this actually isn't going to be such a difficult block. What's Jed done here? He's drawn right across this. Yeah, drawing white instead of with, with uh, Yeah, the black, you're seeing the black lines over on the left side. These black lines, the black lines have nothing to do with the particular color block we're carving right now. They will, they will all disappear from this. This color block will have flat areas of wood. For example, the color block will have the flat sky and tree parts will be missing. Yeah, Ken's found the building here. But there is a theme to next year's series. And we are, we're, we're depicting a real building here. It's been, uh, Jed has uh, uh, moved it around a little bit, changed bits here and there. But this is a real building. But what's the theme? What's the theme? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There is a very strong theme to next year's series that is not just Japanese landscape. As I said, the second one's going to be in Croatia. But there's very much a theme that should be of great interest to many of our fans, given our, our history, me and Jet. Historic bathhouses. No, of course not. This, this first one happens to be a bathhouse, but that's nothing to do with the theme itself, of course. 
Jed, help me. There's not enough black lines here to draw this stuff. What am I doing? I'm lost already up here. I think I'm going to need to get a larger size printout put on my desk. So I think we're just kind of wasting time here. So let's do this. Let's let's move to the places here that are safe for me to do. We'll do a bunch of this. Move to a different job because there's no point in me sitting here sweating this one. You guys sit here doing that. Let's do parts that I can comfortably do without making mistakes here. And it's got one window open and one window closed. Here we go. I'm really surprised when I started talking about this on a lot this morning, I really thought everybody would instantly know what kind of theme we were planning for next year. You know, it's interesting. I thought it was so obvious that uh, you guys will be all over it. And uh, nobody has even, even uh, got even relatively remotely close. It's funny. I thought this place was so famous in modern contemporary culture. It's an old, old onsen. But it has relevance to modern culture in a way that I thought everybody instantly would recognize. The Japanese style architecture, that's not the theme either. It's irrelevant to the architecture itself. The next theme is going to be, uh, I mean, the, the next print of the February print. There will be no buildings in it whatsoever. It's a view of a sea cove over in Croatia, but it's very, very intimately connected to Japanese culture, Japanese pop contemporary culture. And I wasn't really trying to uh, tease people here. I thought it was just all obvious. <laughs> So as I said, it's not really any meaning to have people watch this. It's a job I've got to get done today. 
So let's do the next part. Instead of going through the whole building here, let's do this. Let's put in this sky part so you can see how we do this business about combining the Photoshop work. Yeah, I mean, this is a job I have to do today, but it doesn't make sense to the stream. So let's do this. The whole sky area, as I said, let's do this. Let's outline the building. This whole sky area is going to be included on this block. So let's do it like this. Let's show first. And it's going to come. So she knows to chop the whole sky. seeing here is already thin gumpy paper. This is thin gumpy paper laid down onto a carrier sheet. So in normal situations, the block would be here, this gets pasted on, it's glued to the block, the carrier sheet comes off. We've all got that. But what I've got now is this is a second layer of gumpy is going to go on top of this first layer of gumpy. Locate the tree. I've got enough of this stuff left over there now. Yeah. So the tree is going to stay down over here. We have to show her. So you can see where we're going with this, you can get the idea. Once we've gone through all the areas, this is going to show her now which areas to stay and which areas to leave out. And she will have to know what I'm doing. I've got to tell her because the tree's negative. Normally something black here would stay. I will tell her, chop out the tree. I'll be talking to her about this, of course, before she starts carving. So this will get pasted down onto a piece of wood. The purple areas will be left. The white areas will be scooped out, and the tree area will also be scooped out. Porco Rosso involves sea coals. Porco Rosso involves sea coals. It does indeed. It does indeed.
it does indeed. Porco Rosso does involve sea coal. There's a particular sea coal vein. I think it's Croatia. I'm not actually quite sure about that. I think it's Croatia. This first one. Where have you seen a building that looks like this before? Yes, you guys are onto this at last, at last, at last. Mr. 44 Torian has basically got the idea here. That's what we're doing. We're going to take 12 journeys and we're going to take a journey, stopping at 12 locations that inspired chocolate eggs, <laughs> chocolate eggs, chocolate eggs. <laughs> Okay, as I said, it's not the right job for me to be doing here on stream for a couple of reasons. One, it's boring for you guys, and two, I should be tracing this more carefully. You know, light. I don't have a light table, but we can figure out something. What I can do is, uh, if I print out that thing that you see on my screen, print out Jim's concept at the same size. I've got my iPad. I have an iPad Pro. We can put the screen bright and then trace it on top of the screen. I'm using the screen as a light table. So let's do that. It makes more sense to do it instead of doing it on the stream. There are tons of other things I should be doing here, so let's do that. Let's move on to a different job. Let's move on to a different job. Yeah, it's going to be a cool theme. I know, the thing is, though, I know, showing scenes that, that were inspiration for the anime, you've got a decision to make. Do you show the scene in the real life thing, or do you show it how it was visualized in the anime? And Jed and I are pretty loose with the parody thing, Tom. Sometimes we twist them, you know. We make a print of a fox flying in the sky in a cloud, and we all know what that means. But we can't and don't want to use imagery. Click, copy from a work of art, like an anime or something. So we can't use, and we don't want to use. This is not a scene of, this is not a theme, a series of 12 prints made of cuts from anime cells. We're going back, Jed's going back to the places where the designers of the anime sat and looked at the inspiration they took in from these places. And of course, this one is very famous. I mean, the, the Ghibli people in the movie, in the anime, spirited away, used similar buildings like this. And in some cases, you can see the actual shape of balconies that seem to be taken. So they probably traced from the Google photographs or something, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, that's going to be the theme. We are not going to use the big G word in our explanations about this, but yes, this is the idea. We are going to show you 12 scenes that were the inspiration for places in this. So last year we called it JJ, a Japan journey. This year the inside, the house, uh, uh, what's the name? The code name for this is GJ. Last year was JJ, this year is GJ. I'm not sure what the actual name of the thing will be in real life. Uh, we have to decide that pretty soon because we've got to get going. Okay, this is a real mixed rambly stream today. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, uh, I got a, a letter from my mother. Is my mother here this morning, by the way? She has been having trouble with her computer. Beth Bo, can you speak up, please, if you are here? Because I've got to get you some advice on, on your uh, computer. Anyway, I have a letter from my mother, and I pretty much know what's inside, because next week it's my birthday, and my mother very kindly sends me a nice birthday card every year. She is here. Okay, the Skype thing, the Skype thing. Oh, uh, sorry for the stream people here. I've got to speak to my mother directly here for a minute. I normally talk to her by Skype, and her Skype seems to be down. Mom, can you give us some hint? What's what's wrong with your uh, what's wrong with your system? Because I can't call you by Skype to find out what's going on. <laughs> cats! <laughs> it had to be cats. <laughs> Happy birthday, because my mother remembers my birthday every year. Who else is going to remember? Of course, but mom's mother. Thank you, mom, for remembering. Thank you. <laughs> It's a funny situation because on the other way around, my mother sometimes, uh, yesterday, no Skype, today, perfectly normal. Okay, good. No problem, no problem. Yeah, when the stream's over, maybe give me a call or something. We'll see. Hey, and thanks again for the card every year. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
it doesn't work always the other way around. You know, my mother is very good at showing, at remembering my birthday, but I'm not always 100% at remembering her birthday, so. <laughs> okay, 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 what's next here? What's next? We've got a bunch of different stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, what I've got to get going in the next one is a bit of this work. Uh, I did some of this yesterday, but I didn't get finished, I'm sorry. So I have to do one more batch of the same job that I did in yesterday's uh, Monday stream. I have to, and these are waiting. Jed sound. I think Jed might be watching this morning because he was uh, trying to talk to me by Skype just before the stream started. It's amazing that my mom watches this. Why, why, why? If I were, uh, if I were uh, my mother's age, sort of retired living by myself, and my kids were doing various interesting stuff, absolutely I would watch my kids on, on streams if they were doing such a thing. Someone says the barren disc needs re-lacquering. Oh, no, yes and no. What this is, the baron I'm using here this morning, I just stole from the party room at the back there. This is not a home baron, $2,000 worth of handmade baron. This is what we call a murasaki baron. Murasaki is a Japanese word for purple. And it's Goto-san, my professional baron maker, it's his student line of barons. And they sell for about whatever, $70, $80, $90, $100, depending on the size and what's inside them. And this is not a lacquer, blah, blah, blah. This is a piece of wood. It's a piece of strong plywood and maybe lacquer painted or something. And inside it's a cord, a strong cord rather than the woven bamboo. And it's gonna be fine. I use it always for doing these embossings because these embossings are pretty hard. And if I use a two barbarian that's too strong, I can actually cut the paper. If I press too hard while doing the paper on these uh, polymer plates, it will uh, cut into the paper. Oh, Cameron's here, Cameron's here. Good, 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 good. Good morning, good morning. You can help. It's a real I know, scrappy stream today. All right. I'm not really sure what job to be doing, so I started one job, and I can't really do it well, the tracing, one looking at the screen at the same time. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I've moved to job B. Uh, job C is also waiting, and job D is waiting, and there's that <laughs> massive show and tell, which I don't really think we can do this morning. We should probably talk about it and save it for another day. Okay. So what shall I do? Whatever, take over this part. Take over the, uh, this part. The chatting part. Okay. So I really am not getting anything done. No. Okay. And I also want to chat a bit more. A couple of things. I know uh, the the, uh, the caption contest is almost ready to be to be opened up. Yes. Oh, is that tomorrow? Or what? Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Today's the last. Okay, day but we better then we better sort out the time. And okay. like I said, November eighth. But is that Japan time or Western time or whatever? Midnight or is it? So, so while you're here this morning, let's sort okay. this out, pin it down, all these people. Okay. So, okay. You, if you can just take off that yeah. part of stuff, please. Hot, hot, hot. And I'll just find it. I'll just get some work done. Sounds good. You have a lot of sources in here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. You need to clean up. There's lots of things around here you need to clean up. <laughs> Cameron, let Dave know that if he doesn't at least show one print for show and tell, he's going to have a Twitch revolt. Well, okay, actually, I can talk. What I got was, I know, I actually started to talk about it before, but some squirrel jumped across the field of view and it disappeared. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We get these auctions sometimes, and they are for sets of prints. Back in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, the major publishing companies, Adachi, Takamizawa, etc., etc., they published single prints. They also published prints in sets. You could buy the full Tokaido set or, or a set of Hokusai 36 right. years of Mount Fuji or whatever. Yeah. Something like this. And they were actually doing things sometimes by subscription. You could buy the whole set, or you could get it on a month to month, or five would come each month, or something like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not, we didn't invent the idea of selling things by subscription. Yeah. 
company, long story short, lots and lots of those sets are out there. We're talking about the 1960s, 1970s. Mm -hmm. The target market for them was things like school teachers and uh, office managers and doctors and stuff like that. People who had a Western room in their house. They wanted this stuff on the bookshelf, and they would frame one of them. A lot of the sets came with a frame, so you would have one in the frame and theoretically change it up. But a lot of the times we find that only the first image is in the frame. So exactly, and everything that's else right. is we get a lot spots. of these sets, the first print is missing, because they put Nihonbashi from the Tokaido series up in the frame, and that's it. They never changed. And yep. the, these two sets that I got, and one of them is right in front of here, it's massively heavy, the two yeah, sets that huge. came in here. Both of these sets are missing one print. <laughs> and the Tokaido set is missing, not the first print, no. but it's missing the second print, the second. Shinagawa. So right, the guy so did change it once, <laughs> he moved and then he left it on the wall. And we're not talking 50 years later, he's long dead, of course. His, yeah. his family has cleaned up and has sold this print set. Yeah. And they didn't know that it was matching. Right. So they just find the print set on the bookshelf, take it to a used book dealer, yeah. get 10 bucks for it or something or whatever, yeah. you know. And the one oh, print man. is lonely on a frame, lost forever. <laughs> anyway, long story short, we do get these sets with one missing. Well, sometimes more than this, some of the sets, there's a print that'll be foxed or damaged or right. So we don't even try and keep it as a set. Yeah. We smack it all up, clean them up, throw yeah. out the prints that are no good, and put the other ones as single prints in our shop. Yeah. This is not like cutting pages out of a Gutenberg Bible or whatever. This is, <laughs> no, these are... Not uh, there's no archival value in these things whatsoever. They were prints that were made in the tens of thousands. Having said that, while we get nice clean sets, we do not break them up. As you know, we've got them in the shop here. Yeah, that's both thing. Sets. So, yes. so we only break up sets that are pretty much, uh, what's the word? You know, not recoverable. Already pre-broken. Yeah, not recoverable. Yeah. But again, having said that. This Tokaido set by Takamizawa, it's beautifully preserved, yeah. beautifully packaged. We had one a while ago with just one print missing. Right. And Dave says, okay, wait a minute. We've got lots of those Tokaido prints in the shop. I don't need to break this thing up. Let's keep this aside yeah. here because I know what's going to happen. X Get months down one. the pipe, it's going to come back again, and maybe a different one will be missing. Yeah. And it was the same thing. It was Shinagawa, the yeah. second one's missing. And that's what happened yesterday. Yeah. I've kept the set. It's right there. Yep. In fact, it's been here now since we opened the shop. It's been here shop. a while. Yes, yes. It's been over a year waiting and this weekend the other set came in and we matched them up all right perfectly so what did actually i switched the new set that's come in is going to be my keeper i'm going to keep it it's beautiful it's beautiful beautiful really beautiful really set. and the other one now which is now missing i think three of them three of them are foxed or i don't okay. remember exactly a bunch of them are fox two are missing now so that will go broken up and into the shop. so i could show this nice complete set yeah so if we get a minute in the stream, we'll have to clear the bench on the table. It's massive. Yeah. It's just massive. It's big, big box. Just moving this out of that way. But the, the auction was for two. The guy had two auctions up. One for the Tokado set, missing number two, hmm. and one for the Fuji, 36 views of Fuji, which has 46 prints in it, right. was missing uh, number 12. Got it. Not number one. Not number one. No, and not the Great Wave. The Great Wave is the one that they show usually. Yeah, so it's, yeah. you know, when you see those sets, they're nearly always missing the Great Wave. Yeah. Definitely, if you ever end up in Tokyo, check out the print parties. Thanks. <laughs> we like them. So I think I registered only one night beforehand, and it was a lot of fun. And that depends on the season. Right now, registering one night ahead... Is almost an impossible. It, you can get yeah. for one person. There was one last night. There was one spot left open, and somebody grabbed it last night. Yeah. For a group, there's no way you're going to get in the last. Right. Yeah. But during less popular times of the year, maybe that's possible. But right now, not likely. Also, can I say, before I forget, before I forget, yes. uh, we were chatting earlier, I was trying to do some of that tracing for that some first print of next year's series. Yes. And uh, we were chatting about what the theme was going to be, and nobody seemed to get it. I thought it was kind of obvious. Nobody seemed to get it. So I gave a few hints and a few more hints and yeah. a few more hints, and they, they're onto it. Okay. Cool. They're onto it. All right. So, I know this is not for massive public announcement, but the people in our Twitch chat do know now. What next what's year's, going on? Yeah, what's going, okay, going on? Cool. And I was mentioning that the code word in house here, this year's series was JJ Japan Journey. Yeah. Next year's series, our code word is GJ. GJ. But I don't uh, know, and we haven't decided what to call it in public. Right. There's no way. You can't to, use. No, I don't terms. want to do that. Yeah. So, any suggestions on that end? What to call our next year's subscription series? Now that you know what the theme is, we're going to revisit the locations that were inspiration 
for many iconic scenes in some iconic anime from a certain iconic anime company, what should we call the series in public? This year was a Japan journey. Next year won't all be in Japan. As I said, the second one is, I think it's Croatia. Did I get that wrong? That one that was the, the cold sure. by the sea, the right. Coco Rosso. I know. Yeah. I'd like to keep the word journey, I think, because yeah. it's an interesting idea. Anime journey. Never ending journey, no. <laughs> no. It's literally the in, uh, locations that were the inspiration for anime scenes journey, but how do you say that yeah. concisely and in an interesting so way? said anime journey. Um... An inspirational journey, there is. Yeah. Today, uh, we're fully staffed down here. Takeo-san is right. in, Shiba-san is in, and marcella san is in. We have three good, well, not, not three veterans, but two and a half veterans. Yeah. Can book. get stuff done upstairs. Yeah, and kira san I think, is also coming in. She wasn't feeling well yesterday, but she said to, in an email she's coming in. So she oh, okay, great. Me. So I really want to get stuff done upstairs. And number one is that video. All right. About the uh, gift friend. Yeah, right? the really, really short video. Yeah. But. I mean, don't let me get away with this. Thing. Okay. Just, just whatever. All right. So, didn't take a look last night. <laughs> no, no, okay. no, 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 no. I was on the sun stage last night. Oh, okay. But bookkeeping, bookkeeping, bookkeeping. I know. Yeah. We are really going to have to make some major changes in the bookkeeping. Yeah. He's been. He's really afraid. I've just been tossing that aside. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Perfect. But I really do have to make a major change in that monthly report. Mm. Because so far, things like you do the billing for the for the subscriptions right. or whatever, we don't put that into our bookkeeping. We only list the money that we receive from the table right. as cash sale. And that's not the way to do it in a normal bookkeeping that's system. Good. You make that invoice, that's a sale. At the moment yeah. that, that happens, that's a sale. Yeah. And there's an income it's accounts receivable. receivable. Yes. And those ones that you've been just using as zombies that people didn't pay, no, they have to be actually written off yeah. against the you know, So I've got to restructure the report that comes out of that machine every month. Mm. And sales and income have to be separate, because up to the moment, sales and income have just been one thing, one yeah. number. So. And now it has been really simple. You know, he's really worried that we're not doing this properly. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. Vivid KP just jumped in and said, Hi everyone, this employment thing is really starting to interfere with my stream watching. Flyfish for fun <laughs> says, Quit! Stop, stop eating! Stop, <laughs> yeah, stop eating! eating. <laughs> hey, we sold another of your prints in the shop yesterday. Oh, go, so, go, so, go, so, go. Yeah. Oh, which one? The Firefly one? Yep, it was the Firefly one. In the shop or online? It was in the shop. Oh, wait. Nope, you're right. It was an it was online, online order. Yeah, it was an online order. We shipped it out of yeah, the yeah, shop, yeah, yeah. but it wasn't a person in the shop. So, But in any case, we sold them. Yeah. Bar and hands. So, yeah, same thing for me. That's why I only make one stream a week live now. I'm surprised you can make one stream a week live. What if your job gets in the way and stuff? Yeah. If it were streaming at one in the morning, I don't think I'd make it. <laughs> Depends oh, on the time. What's stuff. the deal on the trip to to Yuzawa? To, what do we uh, to Oguni. Um, I think I can do that part. I think it's too short notice to set up enough interviews and stuff. Uh, so I think so, I'll just so go with you guys. Up and down. Yeah. Go with us, but I don't think I can go. I oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The, there's a and shop. All to three run. of us don't need to go up there. Right. Well, so I can, it's a question of who, who yeah. goes. You know. I think I can do it. Go take some. On what? Videos Thursday? And stuff. So go up the Thursday and come back to Friday? Maybe I think so. Sure maybe one night? And one day up and down doesn't work. Right. Does yeah, that's a lot of driving or maybe even maybe a late night trains. return yeah. on the freeway and then no yeah. Night, so. yeah. So what if you drive and you know, we pay you you know we pay you for the the, the, the car of the cost gas or something, or something yeah. Else. yeah. Yeah. Or I wonder I know it's pretty remote, but is it close to any stations at all? Didn't you look in the map? Not yet. I know Aoyama san is looking and I didn't, the address I didn't, the third floor. Oh it's printed on that little yeah, 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 slip yeah, on the wall. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll double check. Yeah, of course it is, Tim. Okay, so I'll write back to Morikisan this morning. Or we, we'll we'll someone, yeah. this morning. We'll put him in touch with you directly, because okay. he may want to be part of this. Yeah. That's 
excellent about selling one of her prints. That should buy me a couple sushi dinners. I better switch to PB and J though. <laughs> sushi dinners. Where do you live, lady? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to hunt for Yamazakura in Niigata? No, this is um, they're harvest. Yeah, they're on the harvesting step, right? Harvesting the. It's step one. Um, cutting. They're yeah. harvesting. It means you know whatever. Cutting in the field. The kozo fiber. The kozo fiber. All the mulberry bushes, yeah. mulberry trees, whatever they are. And I'm gonna do the first, at least the first step of well, that. When they if, it, if it's just yeah. cutting in the field, that's not worth going out there. Right. But if they're doing the steam. So we should check oh. what what is really happening. Somebody can find a link here for us if, if, if John is in the stream somewhere, if he's not, whatever. If somebody goes to my old woodblock.com website, yeah, that was look for the newsletter, the Hyakunin Isho newsletter, and look in the middle of it somewhere for the visit to the mulberry fiber supplier, Soma-san, S-O-U-M-A, soma -san. This is what Cameron and I will be going to see next week up in Niigata. It's the first step in the paper making the cutting of the plant, the fiber, the mulberry plant. And it's a bit of a bizarre harvest because the plants take care of themselves during the year. I mean, they grow from the cut from last year, they grow up again from next year. There's no seed right. planting. And during the year, they don't do anything. They, they just cut back some of the leaves to keep the thing growing up at a single stalk. Right. And then around now, November, December, they, they, they quote, harvest it and then steam it peel off the bark and get it ready for the paper maker. And we've got a set of photographs on, on my uh, old website, yeah. woodblock.com. Look for the newsletter section, Chakunin Isho. Within that, find the index, look for the visit to a craftsman, Soma-san, S-O-U-M-A. And there's a set of photographs there that show what we'll, mm -hmm. be, what we'll be seeing next week. Yeah. And the idea here is that camera will take video cameras with him and we yes. video this yeah. and incorporate this into something. There. Am I on, on visible thing? Yep. Yeah, you're right in the middle. Says, so can I do captions tomorrow early? Tomorrow early for you in the West is still today, the 7th for us here oh, in yeah, Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, so, squirrel, yes. squirrel, yeah. squirrel. What's, what's the date time? We said we would close it on the 8th. We're going to make the grand announcement of the winner on the 11th, yeah. my birthday. We need a few days to sort this out. Mm -hmm. The pages are, I think, ready to open once we do yeah. open them, yeah. right? So what's, what's, what do you want to do here, Kamen-san? You said the 8th. Um... I think we said the 8th Tokyo time, I think, on the yeah. original announcement. We can check and see. Yeah. Today's the 7th, right? Yep. So, does that mean the end of the 8th? I don't know. I don't know. What, okay. What's a good decision? We'll do 11.59 p.m. the 8th hour time. Also, once we open, does that mean we close entry of new captions? I think so, or else it'll Cause have the same open, problem people were worried about in the first place. But... So, if we, if we open for voting, Here's our problem, people, and, uh, and the reason why we haven't opened it for voting all the way along is somebody who entered a caption 10 days ago has had, would have had a chance to have lots and lots of votes, and someone who enters the caption the day before we close would have no chance to get votes. So it would have been a sort of a skewed thing. Yeah. So that's why we kept it closed for voting for the past week. Yeah. But having said that, once we open for voting and ranking tomorrow, that there's three days of ranking, we could, I'm just thinking out loud here, we could leave caption things open, even though people knew putting a caption in now, they're not chances gonna have much their lower. chances yeah. are much lower. And if they put a caption in 10 minutes before we close, they're almost not gonna get anywhere. Yeah. Which was, that's, that's your problem, not our problem. Just leave yeah. it open for entering new captions. Is there feedback? So they're saying, this? close the new captions when voting starts. I think you must. So, so. Why? Uh, but they say. When we Explain people, yourselves. Give me yeah, a five so, so, paragraph so, 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 essay. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong? I mean, what I know what could go wrong is that people, once the ranking starts, if they see they're not doing well, they open a fake account, put some junk captions in, get more likes, and use those likes. Yeah. Whereas if we close the caption entry, and no one's getting any new. No votes. one's getting any new likes, yeah. so they have to use their likes. I think I'm. I think. I yeah. think. I think. I think. Okay. I think. I think that's Maybe. the best way to go. Vivid KP also says, don't sort captions by descending vote count. However, well, for each one, there's like seven or eight pages of, <laughs> of possible captions, so okay, you have I get to this. sort through a lot. Okay, Karen, but why, why, why? What are you thinking about this? I was thinking that the idea of a ranking is that the best ones float to the top. I mean, that's the whole idea. 
Chiefs didn't get it the best ones float to the top. But those are the ones that are going to get the most new votes. Yeah. Well, if that's so bad, yeah. self-feeding. I'm open to suggestions. It's one click three. Do we sort them random? Even after ranking starts, do we leave them at random? Yeah. At the moment when they show, it's simply oldest first, going to newest. Yeah. I could do it random, you know. Yeah. I could display random. Right? Mm -hmm. But there's so many now. When you click, it's like seven pages of each one, right? Yeah. I see. How I randomize it? Because it would be self-fulfilling, as we were just saying. Um... Well, it might be self-fulfilling, but yeah. somebody, just because there's a good one on top, are they going to vote for it without looking what's below? Really? Is that what you would do? I don't know. Oh, I like that one too. Click yeah. one of your votes. You've only got a bunch of votes to use. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, well, compulsive, I would read down everything. And yeah. Think, okay, now, what am I going to vote for? People saying, uh, randomized, randomized. Make the list bigger so it's not seven pages that have to load individually. <laughs> no, no, we're talking about a list box. Yeah. A list box that's page. It's not seven web pages that reload. It's right. one web page with everything on it. And there's a separate list box for each of the five images. Yeah. And the list box is a page. Yeah. Although, having said that, Tamara the list box wouldn't need to be paged, you know. Yeah. Each list box could just be a single page because there's no It just text. scrolls forever. It yeah. just scrolls forever. Yeah. That could work. In fact, I'm thinking that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, just let it scroll and scroll. Just let it scroll, because yeah. it's just text. It, it, yeah. I mean, same as one image loading on a page, and these five list boxes yeah. for text. There's no difference. Yeah. yeah. All the votes are anonymous, correct? Anonymous to outside viewers. I mean, yeah. Our system knows who's voted for what. Yeah, the database knows who's voted for what. But it's not visible to others. No, nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing. Yeah. Be, People if, are just if, asking about If that. you've entered five captions, you've got four times five, 20 ranking votes. You can use them as you wish. You can use them all 20 for the same image if you want. Yeah. Whatever, you know. It doesn't let you vote on your for own. For yourself, though. Yeah, and in the back, our system is checking IP. So if you open a second account for your same computer, if you travel around the world, open another account, I have no way to find out who you are. Yeah. But if we see something funny is going on, somebody opens an account, votes 20 votes on one caption, and then it does it again, does it again, does it again, we'll just kill that. I will just kill that caption. This is not a, this is a personal contest, and if we detect people screwing around with it, we will just simply shut them down. Yeah. Not shut the contest down, but shut that person down. Excuse me. Okay, that's done. It'll take a long time to scroll through over 150 captions for each, just saying. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah, so what? I mean, there it is. What can I say? I mean, yeah. If you want to have a voice in it, you'll do so. If you don't want to have a voice, just whatever. Yep. It's your call. How many are funny? I don't know. There's a bunch that make me laugh. You know, I haven't actually yeah. read them all. The last few days I've given up. They're just going in the database. Yeah. I've given up. But uh, there's a bunch, of, when you read it, <laughs> and that's all I want. If, they, if, if it makes me giggle, it's click. pretty much going to get a, get a click from me. Yeah. yeah. So, so. How many votes did you give yourself? 200, 300? I won't yeah. be taking part of this. I won't be. You know, it's, still, it's not open to entries and employees, uh, whatever, to blah, blah, employees and associates of Mokohanka. And we're going to follow that common sense rule. Yeah. You know. Kirisan wants to win, but yeah. uh, I've told but him too you, bad. you can play in there if you want, but there's no way I'm going to uh, give you the grand prize. Right. Not to an employee. There's no way. The other day, okay, another, not a squirrel, just another, to change topics here, we're getting ready for the carving, cats carving, and I put this out on the stream the other day, that I was going to get ready to start this, and I mentioned that the cartouche box Ooh. is just kind of boring. It really, really is kind of boring. Yeah. It's okay, nothing wrong with it. And all the Ukiyo Heroes cartouche boxes, we kept the straight boxes. Yeah. But it really is, really is kind of boring. So I thought, I asked, in fact, I asked on the stream for ideas. And, and, and I think we received a couple somebody ideas. Somebody did free yeah, yeah. in a text email or whatever. But, yeah. So anyway, so I, and I also talked to Rachel upstairs. She drew me some ideas, but they were too uh, complex. They were like a whole cat sleeping and lying down here. And it was too vivid. It interferes with the cats in the design. Yeah. So we needed something that looked catish, but that didn't interfere with the design yeah. as a design element. So I gave up. I just did it myself. Dave, the the artist here, 
take the non-artist here. I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Where is I it? Just a minute here. I, oh, okay. I opened the thing in Photoshop, and I learned the other day, and I'll, I was watching Jed do something. He, he and I screen share. Yeah. So he's doing something for one of his new uh, Jiclay prints, and he was... He had to move an arm or somebody's arm, they looked a bit wimpy and they had to be a bit more yeah. a muscle. So he opened this and he clicked on the liquify filter right. in Photoshop and then went <laughs> and oh my god, we had a bicep just in seconds. <laughs> hey, that looks cool. So I learned I don't know what I, I didn't learn how to do it, but I went back and used that example. And I took my straight little cartouche box yeah. here on a layer of its own, went to Photoshop, grabbed the liquify button, and five minutes later. Keep we have flat. Nice. Are they all laughing at me? I don't think so. No responses yet. No responses. I've shocked, stunned them into silence oh. at the grotesque, got grotesque faces. Is. So I'm thinking it looks oh, really bit, nice. It looks a little bit cattish. I don't think it's strong enough to interfere with the cats and yeah. the design. And something else that I thought about this morning when I woke up and looked at it again, it looks like one of those Japanese wooden dolls, a kokeshi. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and with the thing, I'm, I have to make my decision right, right now, now because yeah. here we are. But you just printed it already on Gumpy, didn't you? It's on Gumpy, ready to go. And I have on Gumpy, ready to go, the old version. Someone says it looks a little like a castle, like from chess, the uh, rook. <laughs> oh, is that that's a positive feature, isn't it? Yeah, I like that idea. I seem to have lost it already. I have. I got so many pieces of paper. Yeah. Help me, help me, help me, doctor. I need help. Soka, <laughs> we have to do something now to too. Yes. Well, actually, the decision is made. I can no longer find the other copy I have, which doesn't look like a chest. So that's it. It's going to be this one. Okay. I prepared both of them. I was going to make my decision right now, but I can't find it. So it is. And which piece of wood? I've got a few pieces of wood here. Try and find one that is the hardest piece. find that uh, uh, link to the mulberry harvesting or did we lose track of it? You know, the squirreling yeah. around? I don't know. I think nobody did. Okay, doesn't matter. Villager Vince has sent a design for something. Please do not actually send it by an Instagram direct message. Then it's only visible on our phone and we can't do anything We're else with it. caption contest? I'm not sure. I think for... Cats, Nekohake, please. A design for the series, you mean? Maybe. I don't know. It wasn't clear. It just said that. It's got to go through the website. Yeah, just through the website. If it's for the... What's that called? The cartouche? Looks like that's just been decided to, so... Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's now here. I am here. The wood looks pretty stripey, according to Cordy and Gummy. Stripey, as in wood grain stripey? I mean, yeah, what, I guess what so. Yeah. 
Is that remember the one he's looking at? It does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Huh. I don't notice that's a brittle part. There's no way I'm going to use that for a key block. Ah. It's way too brittle. Mm -hmm. and this is not a good piece of wood. We have to use it for a color zone. That doesn't, yeah. doesn't even work on the part. No, the, the wood you're seeing on my desk here is not at all high quality wood. We are yeah. still struggling, 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 struggling. We can make nice blocks once we have pieces of cherry wood. Yeah, part of it we've got pretty much done. Yeah. But the raw the materials, right, the yes, raw materials. Yes, we are struggling, struggling, struggling. We buy pieces of uh, cherry wood and it's years before they get to the bench because we have to slice them up dry and slice them up dry and bond them. And find when it gets to the bench, it's not a good piece after all. <laughs> yeah. But it's a year's, two multi years, years yeah. process, two years minimum. Yeah. So, no, I make no claims that any piece of wood you see on our bench these days is uh, wonderful stuff. It's just not true. We're, we're struggling, struggling. Two links I shared are for the visit to Soma San oh, Mulberry oh, one. And someone else shared one too. How did you get it into that computer? Yeah. I just typed it in. Went up, yeah. Um, found one from Hyakuni Sho and yeah. then an adaptation of it in your encyclopedia also. It looks like it's slightly oh, different. So, 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 almost so, so, the same. Ancient, my god. And someone found also a visit to a paper maker in the encyclopedia. So that would be Yamaguchi, huh? an ancient, ancient visit. Would it be? Yeah. That's not even Iwanasa, that's yeah. Yamaguchi-san. Wow. The, the, that family is not, 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 not long dead. Wow. And so no more paper coming from the Yamaguchi's? No, 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 no. Three and a half years old in autumn of 1993. When I wrote that story? Yep. What if we just get this every day, every, every day in the shop? There's people for print parties and they're like, they weren't born when I came to Japan. And yeah. they'll ask me, like, how long have you been here doing this? And I said, oh, since, um, I've been here since 1986. And they say, I was negative four. <laughs> <laughs> So it's amazing there's any Japanese cherry left at all, considering how many blocks have been used for hundreds of years, not even considering the other no, uses for cherry. No, but, no, yeah, I no, thought you might have something to say about that. No, no, no. The mountains are full of the things. Yeah. We've talked about this many, many times. Because there's so little demand for these things, mm. there's no harvesting. The trees are just up there in the, tree, in the forest, dying by themselves, unattended. Well, back in the Edo time, yeah, there was lots of prints being made, but we're talking about still a cottage industry, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, Japan is a huge, vast country. Yeah. Even when there were dozens of woodblock print shops and, and hundreds of carvers and thousands of printers. It's a lot of forest. It's, amazing. it's a lot of forest. It's a vast forest up there. And a lot of it is actually protected. On my interviews over the weekend, I asked some people, what are some jobs that people people you knew used to do but aren't mm. available in the area anymore mm. and something that came up was um, <clears throat> logging and forestry work mm. because now it's all protected so no one's doing any logging or pulling what do you mean? You cherry trees or anything what do you mean? like protected. national forests oh, yeah, and part, yeah. so most of the country is just still open you know they don't yeah. know who owns most of it right. so. but 
Yeah, and so the areas that are used for logging and gathering lumber and stuff are ones that have been planted or are specifically designated for it. Whereas in the past, people used to just walk in the mountains, uh, I want this yes, tree, chop it down, and then we they take it home. Way, way, way past, yeah. 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 Um, no, this was in like the 50s and 60s, it was according to them. <laughs> but I was surprised the way these people used to live. No, now it's all national forest up, up there, at least in that specific area. I mean the part that the parts that aren't owned by individuals. You mean. Right. Does Japan have trouble with forest fires? There are signs about it all over the place, like be careful of yamakaji and stuff. Yeah. But I've never heard of any no, big ones. Not like California's been having or Alaska. No, of or... course not. Because the, the type of forest, this it's a very very damp country. Of yeah, of course, absolutely. Lots of humidity and lots of rain. Well, the winters are dry, but the country as a whole is just not saturated. We don't have any kind of climate like those, the chaparral area of California yeah. stuff yeah. like that. It rains here. Yeah, it rains a lot. It's a wet country. Like we were talking about, was it last week? People talk about there being one rainy season, but there's at least two. <laughs> it's called summer. Yeah, so, summer, and then half of autumn. And some of spring. It just rains and rains and rains. seen a first part. Once when I was with we were in uh, Sagami Hara or somewhere. Oh, really? And, uh, hmm. We got off the train and everybody's pointing up towards a nearby mountain, and yeah. it was actually a, a fire. The mountain was on fire. Wow. Know, the fire alarms were ringing and trucks were zooming around here and there. Yeah. The guys got up there and uh, zoom, shut it down. Yeah. yeah. When all the houses in the cities were all made of wood, there were a lot more oh, yeah. city fires. City fire. but that was a huge thing. The yeah. flowers of Adol. Right. But the forest fires I haven't heard too much about. Someone asked, what are you up to now? You just cut Kento marks, the registration marks, and you're now gluing down the gun piece. Yeah, don't get confused by this cat here. I just used the back side of a piece of paper. I'd use yeah, he did a test print, so, yeah. So it might be confusing him, so yeah. ignore this. This is just the back side. And I actually just posted a, a set of images showing most of these steps on Facebook and Instagram with a little explanation about it. Not much, but... Oh, the ones from the... Uh, the, uh, no, the other prints. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The reasons for the huge fires are due to human infrastructure and, quote, forest maintenance, unquote. But small forest fires are often natural and important. True. Well, it's green, I guess. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're right in the middle. In the Ooh, they're excited. Appeal. Oops. Oh. Oops, 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 oops. He doesn't oops a moment. I don't have any gum left so yeah. i tried to use two pieces of gumpy side by side uh, i forgot about that so i just tried to peel it off right now too quickly as if it were one piece as if it were one piece of it i don't have any gumpy camera what i know do? what are we gonna do we've ordered it do we have to go to what was it Ozuwashi? Ozuwashi, this guy. Oh, i don't know it's, it's a strip it's two pieces of gumpy that's that's the condition we're in here one of the famous woodblock shops in the world and we are now out of freaking gumpy yeah so I'm gonna peel this back piece by piece here. There's gonna be no ten out of ten peel today. Yeah. Not in this situation. 
and this is the, the not because the junk is that super thin stuff. That's, yeah. Look at it, it doesn't come off actually. Right. They'll come here bit by bit. I guess I got a phone today. There's no way around it now. I mean, that's it. Yeah. We ordered the stuff and it didn't come. Originally, did they give us any idea on the shipment date or anything? No, There's not no yet. Comment. I think I'll give them a call. Hi. You know, get it. We're their newest customer, so we have no standing. We are at the bottom, the bottom of, of the, the list. list. Yeah. I get it. I get it. But we'd still like to receive products. Mm. Well, I could maybe today, you know, like I said, because we've got staff today, I can head out. I can make a quick trip to Ozuwashi, I guess. Yeah. If they have any. Yeah. So they looked up Thanksgiving in Japan. Apparently there's a similar holiday called Kindo Kanshahi. Or Kansha no Hi. It's, uh, it's more like the American Labor Day. It's gratitude for laborers, <laughs> for work and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's usually Japanese translated as Labor day, Thanksgiving sure. Day. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... An American style Thanksgiving doesn't really have an, an analog here in Japan. As in, thanks to the, the thanks to what nature or the yeah. gods or whatever the yeah. stuff we've received. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two out of ten. Boy, that's no, barely no, a three no, out of no, ten. No, Big no, fat no, zero no, on the old no, peelometer. Fair enough, fair enough. No, no argument to it. <laughs> Good KP. No Guys, don't talk. be too harsh. Don't go ahead. I'm, I'm not the one who started that deal about the scoring. Yeah. That, you know, whatever. Give me a nice piece of paper and I'll play with it. But, yeah. I had forgotten this was cut in half, so that's why. Yeah. yeah. Got quite a, a scrappy stream today, Cameron. Yeah, but. Getting lots of different things done. Uh, sort of. Sort of. You got those prints embossed. Yeah, good, good, good. Got to go to Jets on it. Yep. Or is there an order out soon? Or no, actually no. No, he's I think coming next ones, month. Yeah, he's coming soon. So he reminded to bring his seal because that happened one of these years. Yeah. He was doing this, he didn't bring his seal. Right. Last happened. year was safe, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. the previous year he so, missed something. So make sure it puts on. Okay. Tip him down. Hint him on this. What do you do if part of the design peels up like that? It looks like the whole image did get transferred this time. Unless he's asking right about there. that. I'll yeah. just, I'll just draw, draw and card it. So yeah. So draw it. Draw and card it. Okay, today, Barroom experts all. Let's see how you would do it. Leave the master alone. <laughs> There's no master. We don't use that word around yeah. here. We... Oh, Jed's here. Jed's says, here. I'll make sure to bring my seal. I made yeah, a calendar please, reminder. Please, please. Thanks. Good, 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 good. You think he's, is Jed going to have time to do this? Because it looks like his schedule he's is traveling tight, all over. Tight, yeah. tight. Jed, Dad, were you here earlier when we were talking about next year's series? Or did you just come in now? We'll see. Give him a minute. Oh, Jed Skype me just before we started. Oh, okay. And I couldn't talk to him. I think once I've got the software set up here, yeah. it catches the microphone. So we've learned. Yeah. And I, so it's sending the microphone to, yeah, to the, the stream software. that's not actually so, running so yet. So I can open Skype and we see it. Yeah. And it doesn't pick up the mic and I can't switch yeah. the mic back. So, so he, he's oh, he just came in. He's just got here. So. Did you tell everyone about the new series? Well, the hint we, at it, yeah, right? I wasn't we're, we're here yet. About it. I, know, just, I can roll back a minute here. Where, 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 what have I got? What are we doing? You have the blocks that... What did I do? And I tease them a little bit on Instagram too. I look at the key block. Doesn't Jed watch your work? I don't know. Jed's on to roll back a half an hour ago here or so. I don't have any idea what time it is. Oh yeah, 9.19. I didn't realize it's so late. Oh crap, I've got nothing done today, Cameron. Just squirrels, squirrels. My life is just, wow. Jed's on, it's the last two. Uh, Kawasaki-san now has the first six. And these are the last two. This is going to be the one that gets my own screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is going to be the one that gets the window shading. Mm -hmm. And this is the block that gets the 
the, the lighting from below, and I'm going to have to trace it. I was trying to do it freehand here, but it's not going to work. So I've got to I've got to get a light table thing figured out. I'll use the iPad Pro. It's nice and bright. I'll mm -hmm. use it as a table light table. So. so these are these are the last two faces. Yeah, the other ones are the key block. Maybe you've never even seen the key block. I don't know. It's very dark. Hard to see. What is it? It's on it. I'll put the light on. There we go. The key lock looks great. She, said. she has done. Says. She has done a nice job. You know, actually, yeah. when when, uh, when I sent it to her. Except we have a problem. Uh oh. Uh, it could be a real major problem. I don't know. You can see it from where you are. We'll move it around. Do I see what I think I see? Yeah. Oh no. That looks new. Mm. It's winter. We always have made this in summer. And we knew we're not supposed to do that. Oh, we no. knew we're not supposed to do that. And it's not a, it's not a deal killer. Uh, what what we're getting at? Can we see it? Yep, yeah, it shows up. Is the wood cracked? There's a yes. 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 Is, it Is there a crack in the bell tower? In yes. Well, look at that, it does show up, because yep. it's white wood showing up against the black. All the black, yeah. And our mistake here, in our struggle, our, it's exactly the same thing I was talking about. The wood I'm just using now for this cat's one, this is not hard enough. It's mm. a nice piece of wood for a color block, it's not suitable for a key block. We are struggling desperately yeah. to find good wood for key blocks. Is wood that's less hard, less likely to be brittle and crack like this, or is it about the same I chance? Oh, I have a thing, Moss. The harder yet. you get, the more brittle it is. So, okay. And our mistake here, we got this wood. This is boxwood. Mm. And we got it, uh, I forget, June, oh, July or something. Wood. Okay. It's boxwood. And we got it in summer. Yeah. And we had no, we can't wait a year. We have no other wood. We're backed against yeah. the wall. We're desperately yeah. here trying to do this. So I and I looked at each other. I said, no, no, we can't do this in the summer. He says, okay, what else do you want me to use? And I'm like, okay, use find it. something. <laughs> we don't have anything. So we pasted it down in the summer. We tried to dry it. We actually, we tried to dry it. We held it in the sunshine and put it in the window and tried to get all the moisture out of it. But you can't bond a piece of summertime thin wood, which is full of moisture. Yeah. Then you move towards the winter and the moisture goes out. And of course, it's like the violin makers or guitar makers. You don't yeah. put your soundboards on in the summer. You do yeah. it in the winter when the wood is dry. Yeah. It can absorb moisture without deforming, but it can't lose moisture without deforming. Anyway, we're okay. Don't panic about it. So I've been here before. A bunch of the old blocks from Doihanga are, yeah. are split in the same way. Yeah. What we do is we print with it. And we print with, guess what? Water-based pigment. Yep. We put the water-based pigment on this block. And what happens? <laughs> it it's absorbs it and swells up. And yep. the crack closes. I do not want to see this. I'm not happy about this. But it's not going to be something that destroys this printer. The irony, uh, Jed jumped in and said, the irony is that the first print will be produced twice as much as the other prints from the series. Tons of subscribers who stop a few images into the series, although this year's well, series no, is actually so held on pretty tight. Show. Not yeah. so much. We're looking at a few percent. It's yeah. not half or tons. You know, right. In the old so, days, we've chatted about this before. When we used to buy encyclopedia sets in the supermarket, yeah. they would make a million more of volume one yeah. than they do of volume 25 B, or whatever. C, you know, D. Yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah. not our case for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this but no, am I happy about this? No. Yeah. It's the weather the last few days. The sun is the sun is out, the rain yeah. has stopped. Yeah, and here we are. It's been great for my Hoshigaki. <laughs> After seeing the prints from Jed <laughs> showing people drying the kaki, I decided to do it myself, dry some persimmons at home. It's been fun. So, good weather for dried fruit, bad weather for dry wood. only about five minutes left. Did you want to show oh, any of the so, prints so, so, so. or not really? That's you said you will save it for the it's next a massive anyway. set camera. I don't yeah. know what to do. I mean, it means clearing all the bench out and, and yeah. it just, it's a massive, massive set. I, I think there's yeah. really not yeah. set for it. I know, it. We showed a Tokaido set like mm -hmm. last week to show that yeah. uh, other older one. Right, which was awesome. Anyway, okay, what we could do then to show, okay, can you uh, throw away that coffee yep. box there. Let's pull that out because there's something else was included with this Tokaido set. Okay. It was very rare for us. 
that would be nice to show. Oh, if you, uh, it's going to be really good to, to get the. Uh, yeah, that's actually the box itself is rare. It's a Takami sale box. So yeah, flip it upside down so the blue thing slides out. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull it off. I'll support it. Okay, go ahead. And then, then open up do you the, want the whole thing or? No, I want the inside there. That, that's the thing I want this right one? there. This. Okay. Ooh, I see English. Uh, yeah. I know this. There we are. Tell you, can I show it here? If, if you. Camera sound? Yeah. Good if, if I close the movie camera, can you, can you show the set itself? Oh, okay. The, the blue box. Yeah, just there. whatever. It's a huge set of prints. Big box. So it's fifty-five. Yeah. Right, so we'll, we'll we'll talk about it. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Lots of prints. Yeah. Several prints per. It's box two or two or three per per pack. So it's fifty-five okay. in there all together. Yeah. There's three in each of those blue forms. Yeah. Is this the price list? No, it's everything. But that the price list is here. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll come back here now. All right. I'll come back to my own desk here. This was included, and these are, and they're rare, they're not rare in the sense of rare books, but this is a price list and catalog from Takamizawa Printing Company, and there's no date in it. Doi-san would know what date this is. This will be like 1972 or something like that. And it has their catalog and price list. Oh, here we are, 55521, oh, show 55. Show 55, come on, come on. 55, 55. Um, I was born in show 26. So this is... 76-ish, 75? Uh, 20, 60, 61, 71. Yeah, late 70s, yeah. So, so, so. And it's got all their prices and, and what they had available in the late 70s. And they must have meant this for tourists as well. Because there's English explanations here. And it's how they did it. So, they can make three yeah. so you got three prints at a time when it was uh, done by subscription. And the price well, for each print was 5,000 yen. That was expensive, you know. That was expensive. Back in here, 5,000 yen per print. That was expensive. It would have been like just doctors or school principals yeah. or stuff like this that would have been able to afford this, you know. Sure. Mr. Average Sellerman would never have been able to buy this thing. So, 6,000 yen for the case, and each group of four prints you paid me my yen for back in, in Showa 55. That was a big deal. That was a big deal. We're looking at a multiple of at least five or something like that these days. Wow, wow, wow. And there's a thing in the back of the catalog which mentions here the English stuff. We can deliver it to your uh, to your place in Tokyo, your hotel or whatever. Overseas orders and inquiries, and delivery will take 50 days by sea mail, and we do it free. There's no charge for the shipping. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And they would do it as gifts too. No, send it no, no. to your friends if you can give they're us. Talking, they're talking about the catalog. Oh, the catalog. Sorry. They'll send this catalog to your oh. friends. So. That was their deal. Uh, the Takada series was their number one. Then, actually, we've got now most of these series in our collection upstairs. We have this one, the 24 prints from the tomorrow. We have this upstairs. I have the same one. Mother, mother. Mother. Hmm? Oh, no. <sighs> the problem was that we've got this upstairs. The shark set, I don't have this one. We've got the big hook size set. 
We've got this. Actually, we have now in the collection, we have most of the Takanazawa <coughs> yeah. sets in our collection. Wow. We didn't pay anywhere near these prices for it, but we have most of the sets now. <laughs> the thing, oh, there's the Great Wave. Yes, it's part of the set. Of so the it's part of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the views of Mount Fuji. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, where are we here? Um, yeah, it was just another picture in a series. Yeah. Look at this rose. Okay, all right, let's go. I gotta get it. All right. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. We will wrap this up. Okay, I know the next few streams, the content should be obvious. I will be carving, carving, carving. Mm. I will be uh, carving on that cat to get it going. Yep. Uh, in the meantime, Chon San is going to be carving the uh, second in the cat series. I'm doing the first one, Chon San is going to be the second. <laughs> And then did we make an announcement about the caption contest? The time we nope. have, okay. let's say yeah, well let's let's figure it out this morning and we'll make we'll, an actual announcement uh, on the mailing then. list and the Instagram and yes. stuff like that in the blog whatever. Okay, but, okay. The caption contest is going to close for for voting probably within the next twenty four hours. Yeah, that's right. Today's the seventh. We said the eighth. Yeah. So probably within the next twenty four hours. So if you have a caption idea, this is your last chance to uh, to get them in and get okay. them up and running. Okay, very we'll scrappy stream. Very, later. very, very scrappy stream this morning. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get back to work. Okay, have a good one.